Okay, now I'm going to show you um, how to manage multiple posts uh, within Scrivener. So I've opened this month's posts um, and I've opened December um, and I've opened a blog post called Professional Writers Don't Wait Around for Inspiration. Um, so you can see here this is the editor. Um, so let's say I woke up one morning and I want to focus on just getting this post done. Uh, what I would do is I would enter the full screen composition mode. And when I enter full screen composition mode, immediately all of the distractions of Scrivener are gone. And all I have in front of me is the words that I need to work on. Um, and if I find that the text isn't zoomed in, I can zoom in. I can adjust the paper width. Uh, and I can see my word count down here. And uh, this is quite similar to IA Writer or ByWord or any of those minimalist writing apps that are out there. Uh, and it's a great way of just focusing on one particular blog post at a time. Um, so if I come out of composition mode, the next thing I want to show you is this split screen mode that Scrivener supports. So I click this button here. Um, and the way this works is I can have two blog posts open at the same time. So I'm going to open Professional Writers that would ramp, wait around for inspiration on the left hand side. Then I'm going to click on the right hand side. I'm going to open another blog post called How to Become a Sports Writer. Now why would I want to have two blog posts open at the same time? Well, I might want to be referencing information in the second blog post when I'm working on the first blog post. Or alternatively, I might have gotten feedback from an editor. And what I might do is paste that feedback into the right hand side pane continue to work on the blog post on the left hand side of the pane. So this is just a way of taking advantage of larger screen sizes and working more productively. So the next thing I want to show you then is the uh, talk about is the right hand side of Scrivener. So I'm going to come out of split screen mode. So Scrivener has a uh, section for writing notes. So this is basically um, I, I, you can write wherever you want. So I last worked on this post December the 7th. Um, so that whatever information you want can go in here. You can also have labels. So I created two labels, which I, and I'm going to show you these work in a minute. Guest post and become a writer today for guest posts and posts from my blog. I also created five different statuses to do, doing, done, um, submitted for guest posts, and scheduled for posts that I've scheduled myself. Um, and Scrivener also has a section for writing a synopsis. Um, and I'll show you now why the use, how you can use that. So if I select um, all of the blog posts for December, uh, I can see them all in one big long um, stream of text with each blog post separated by a horizontal divider line. But if I enter the corkboard mode, I can see each blog post as a um, index card on a corkboard. Uh, and here you can see the synopsis um, that I showed you in the previous, uh, or I've showed you a few minutes ago. And you can also see color codes for the various labels, guest posts and become a writer today. Um, and I can rearrange these posts uh, and I can also write information uh, on top of each one of the index cards. So this is a great way of reviewing multiple blog posts at once for visually oriented people. Uh, and I know lots of uh, fiction writers use this to organize sections in their book. Um, I actually um, I'm prefer using the outliner mode, which I'm going to show you next. So again, I select all the blog posts, then I enter Outliner. And now I can see all the blog posts in a hierarchical list. I can sort them by label. I can sort them by title. I can sort them by status. I can sort them by word count. I can sort them by publication date. Um, and this is great because I can, uh, during a review uh, at the end of the week, I can quickly update each post that I need to update. Um, and I can quickly see what's happening with each one of my blog posts. So again, this is another reason why Scrivener is great for organizing uh, all of your writing uh, and not just one writing project. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is how to get a blog post out of Scrivener and into WordPress.